Hey everyone, Stephen here, and I'm back today to share part two of my streaming tips for beginners talk with Mostly Wolf. It's a great chat, and if you've somehow managed to miss the first part of this, it'll pop up above or below somewhere. Anyway, let's get on with it. Well, got to it as, as close as we could. How to get to first fifty? It, it, it definitely just ties into what we were saying before as well about you yeah. Know, it's you, you'll get there quicker if you make friends. Absolutely, absolutely, and you know. Chances are most people, like if, if you're a gamer and you're friends with other gamers, chances are they've at least dabbled with Twitch. So, you know, you can hassle a few of your friends to follow you and maybe you'll get to like your first 15 or 20. And um, But yeah, it, it's something that will happen organically. Um, the more you stream, the more you make friends, the more you put your name out there, put yourself out there, it will happen. Um, yeah, I, I feel bad that I don't have like a, <laughs> again, a more it's, relatable it's, it's, story. It's, a, it's like, yeah, I, I have this crazy lightning in a bottle thing that can never happen again. Um, well, I think that's quite good to kind of tell people about because, you know, they might not realize that can actually happen. I'm not saying that's going to yeah. happen. You know, and that's not really happened for me yet. And, but, you and know, it didn't, you um, day one. and it wasn't like, you know, that happened and then I'd made it. It was literally... Yeah one stream where an absurd amount of people followed uh, mm. and a certain amount of people watched. Mm. And then, you know, the next week when I went back to streaming alien, I was back to my two viewers, you know, it's mm. like, it, it wasn't like, <laughs> it wasn't like, Oh, from yeah. then onwards, it was 300. It was a yeah. one, one in a lifetime, like fluke thing. And yeah. then I still had to build an audience. And um, that also kind of ties into something I kind of wanted to say as well. Like you, every stream, can be different. You're always going to have ups oh, and downs. Yeah. So you might have a really good stream, but the next stream, you just you might not be feeling it, or there might not be as many people, or something might go wrong, or someone might come in and change it up. It's going to be you can't kind of have this the same string of like successful streams. It's never oh, going to happen. Absolutely, so many ups and, and downs. Uh, Twitch is such a fickle beast. Yes, um, because there are so many variables that determine whether somebody tunes in or not. Yeah, you know? and um. And you know, and, and sometimes just life gets in the way of it. It's it's the I think the trick is to just not let it get to you. Exactly. Um, it's it's highs and lows. It's peaks and valleys. And you've um, got to have the lows to get the highs. You know, the sweet and the sour. That's it. I, one something I could probably offer as a piece of advice is get really good at talking to nobody. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and it's easier for some people than others. Um, I'm really good at just rambling to myself. And if nobody says anything in the chat for an hour, I'm good because <laughs> yeah. I'm still like, obviously, I, I, I prefer it when people are chatting to me and such. But if they aren't, I'm just, you know, narrating as I'm going. That's amazing <laughs> advice. Um, yeah. And then, you know, it's I think that's like a skill that people should try to pick up. Um, I think that's what makes Twitch unique is mm -hmm. like you said, you, you might come for the game, but you stay for the personality. Um, so sometimes you'll see a, a stream where you pop in and someone is just playing and they're just stone faced, silent, you know, yeah. <laughs> and there's just oh, like yes. two minutes of gameplay go past without like a single word being uttered. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and cool. I mean, if you just want gameplay, yeah. you could go to YouTube, you know, and, you know, I and remember making the video. a video, I, I think just on this note, actually, um, and you nailed it. And basically what might to add to that, I would say basically stream as if someone's going to watch the video later on. Yes. That's what I used to say because I um because I always saved my vods at the end of the stream I used to say thank you to all viewers past present and future. There you go. I like you know, that. In the hopes that in the hopes that someone would stumble across that vod someday and watch it. Um and uh yeah, I I've always done that. I've always like you treat it as if people are watching because even if they aren't watching live, they might be watching the archive later on. Yeah, and you might at some point put it on YouTube or whatever. You yeah, know, yeah, exactly. Put it on whatever. Okay. Uh, great answer there. Uh, Thank so you. here's another one. Okay, where is it? Da, 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 da. I'm okay, so you... glad you prepared questions, by the way, because I was like, <laughs> I got nothing. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I did all uh, this last night. Oh, I did twenty things, but I mean, the, the, the is that thing because I is that because I panic messaged you? No, I just I, I was only okay, doing ten, good. but I got excited, okay. and then, then I went, <laughs> "Oh, I'll add ten more." Awesome. Because I was awesome. just thinking of like all the things that you know we probably would have asked or we were searching for. I know I was searching for everything when I started. Going, how do you do this? How do you do that? What is this? I I didn't know what a raid was when I first started. I was a bit worried. Like I didn't, I didn't know, know what a high train was. Know, 
I, yeah, because and and that's why it's so great that channels like yours exist to explain oh. these things. Because and I wish I'd discovered you before I started. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, but also, you were learning stuff as I was learning stuff, so there was never yeah. the option to you know to turn to you. But um, yeah, my buddy Normal Type, I remember tuning into his stream, and someone gifted me a sub. Yes, and and I was like what does that mean? And, <laughs> and he tried to explain it. He was like, well, they, they gifted you a sub. And I'm like a sub, like what, what, is, what like a, a subscription. Okay. So it's like an ongoing thing. No, no. It's like a one-time payment. Yes. Payment. They paid money. Yeah. 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 They, they paid like X amount of money, depending on whatever their region, $5, $10 to have a subscription. And then they gave it to you. And I'm like, so do I have to keep paying now? It's like, no, no, it's, yes, it's like a one yeah, time. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it was the weirdest concept for me to wrap my head around. Yeah. Um, and it's like, basically, it gives you ad-free viewing and emotes uh, for that streamer. And then sometimes the streamers will have like oh, special things fed up, set up for subs. But it's, for whatever it's... reason, it was the hardest concept for me to wrap my head around. And then bits as well. I'm like, what a, okay, so bits are like Twitch currency. So if someone gives me bits, do I have like a bank of bits and then I give those bits to other people? They're like, no, no, you buy the bits and then you give them the bits and it's like giving them like one cent at a time. It's so confusing, it's so man. Well they well don't well. explain I mean, this stuff to if you. If you go into Twitch for the first time, there's so much to learn. There's, I mean, not even just about the functionality, but the language. I didn't know what pog, poggers or whatever meant and all this. <laughs> I still well, kind of don't know. <laughs> like, I just see the face and I go, well, okay, yeah, I don't yeah, understand. Yes, we do. We, we uh, Yeet, dab, etc. <laughs> we we I understand. I learned how to dab on your stream. <laughs> well, you can yeah, tell me yeah, that's sneeze. right. Like and I'm a, I'm a, put, I'm a, put me hand up. I, I'm, I'm just obliterated. That was awful. That's embarrassing. A 32 year old man explaining how to dab, <laughs> um, which is something kids stopped doing like five years ago. Yeah, exactly. Um, no one says YOLO anymore either. Yeah, like, no. I'm, I'm just getting oh my god, YOLO. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, a lot of that is just like Zuma terminology that has become part of the the common vernacular. But compared um, to YouTube, so when I because I was streaming a lot on YouTube, or at least once a week, and I thought, well, whatever Twitch is going to be similar, right? Oh my word, no, because you realize Twitch is all about streaming, 100%. Yeah. So they've got so much more about streaming, where YouTube is very in its infancy with streaming, even now. I believe they've got raids on YouTube now, but again, it's not built on streaming. So they're getting there, but very slowly. And and like, it seems like you can get a really big audience relatively easily on YouTube or like Facebook gaming, but it's not the same thing it's like no. i feel like with youtube or especially facebook um if you follow any kind of gaming stuff on facebook when you're scrolling through your feed people's streams will just pop up yes and it'd be like here's yeah. you know thing is 69 he's playing Fortnite. i'm like okay i i don't care like why are you showing me this yeah and, it's been and then he'll have you yeah exactly he'll have like a hundred thousand viewers but how many of those are just people scrolling through their feed? yeah it's a lack of um, intent isn't it yeah you're exactly not so for them or clicking in i would say mm. twitch still has the advantage there i'd say it's definitely a quality over quantity thing mm -hmm. um you might have less viewers but you'll have people that are actually there because they want to be there not because mm -hmm. the algorithm randomly yeah. showed it to them i'm seeing that a lot on tiktok nowadays i don't know how uh, how much you you've, you've browsed through that but a lot of them are like live streams a lot more people have been giving the ability to live stream on there and there's a lot of gamers right. on there it's, it's quite an interesting place to be. I kind of want to like a little mess around with it. But um, again, I, yeah. I agree. It's if you browse through something and you're just on something, I don't know. There's no intent there. You didn't choose to go into that environment. So you didn't raid in yeah. or you didn't choose the game it, it's, first. It's like kind of tricking people into watching you, which mm -hmm. feels odd. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But I, I'm, I'm interested to see where YouTube's going to go. I, I, I want the competition. I really want oh, the competition. absolutely. Because obviously, like if if YouTube's going to try and catch up, then Twitch is going to try and kind of you know do more to kind of keep people over there. It's not a it's not an easy market to break into. Like remember Mixer? Oh yeah, I I, I created an account on Mixer and I, Dude, I never used it. Mixer had Microsoft money behind it. Yeah, um, they have like nigh infinite resources and like the features they have these cool like uh, streamer interactive stuff where it's like if you're watching from an Xbox. You can interact and like deploy stuff that happens in the stream, and it had a ton of cool ideas, and it just crashed and burned and yeah. failed miserably compared to Twitch. Like it's not an easy, yeah, it's not an easy market to break into, and yeah. 
you don't want any one company to have the monopoly because like competition is good for everybody. Mm -hmm. You get a better product if companies are competing against each other. Um, but yeah, at this point, Twitch is where I've I've laid my roots. Uh, yeah, me so too. I, I think I probably yeah I probably won't be delving into YouTube gaming yeah. or whatever. But I guess you never know. Yeah, I I, I always say never because I again I used to do it on YouTube and I think Wait, oh, where are you uploading wouldn't... this again? <laughs> yeah, YouTube. Oh, YouTube's great. I love YouTube. <laughs> I do love YouTube. I use YouTube but every day. Just I've not kind for, of not paused the with the live streaming on YouTube, but I'm ne never say never. I may if I could come back and do it. You know, it depends on what kind of thing I wanted to do on YouTube. I don't think I'd game on YouTube or anything like that because the Twitch kind of is my home for that. But if I was going to do something else i'd probably do on youtube or i mean there's something like I i'm making a video for at the moment which by the time this video goes out i'll probably put that video out but it's about um Bandcamp live you can go live okay. on Bandcamp now as a musician and i think that's, that's a really cool. interesting space because you've if you've you know you've got accumulated a lot of followers on there the intent there is about your music your you know your, your artistry whatever you definitely creative space. have to utilize my Bandcamp account because I made it, and then I followed you and Billy Crab. <laughs> it. I mean, I. Alex, I'm, Alex I've got JL about a thousand videos on this YouTube okay. channel all about how much I love Bandcamp because it's it's yeah. the art is first, and you know, in 2022, that really matters. You know, we'll get into it. I think but, I might know, have even matters. made a um, creator account because I didn't know what I was doing. What's well, so good? Might... <laughs> that's good. You can stop is releasing it? music. Yeah, you can. You can yeah, it's sure. yeah, yeah. just about music. It's just you could, you know, theme plays on there, uh, okay. you know, books read out and things like that. It, 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 it's it's blown up. I think it's really good because the again, it kind of similar to Twitch, but you can Twitch. You can be a creator or anything, and you can go live. But Bandcamp because it's primarily music at the moment. But you can, I can imagine you can go live and do you know, FAQs about your new album coming out and things like that. And, you know, we can do vlogs talking about behind the scenes of something you're working on. It's, it's just an interesting space. And as you, as you said before, you don't want just one place to be the place to go live. So we kind yeah. of want all these other things to pop up. And I think Bandcamp's a very interesting one to look at. Yeah, um, for sure. To watch anyway. Okay. Another question. Uh, are, you, are you all right with time? Because we'd be out, we stream for an hour. Are you, are you go for it, mate. Go, don't more? worry about okay. me. Okay. Okay. Here's a good one I think a lot of people would ask for. Uh, do you need a mic and cam when you're streaming? Do you need them? It's an interesting question because technically speaking, no, you don't. You can mm -hmm. just play uh, with just gameplay. Um, I know a streamer that does that and mm -hmm. it is awkward um, mm -hmm. because I'll pop into his stream and be like, hey, how's it going? And then the stream will stop and then I'll see the chat pop up with a response. <laughs> um, and then you know he'll keep moving he's playing Doom or something and he's going then shooting stuff and it'd be like oh what level's this and then it stops oh, yeah, this is e e I think M4. I've actually been in that stream with you and you're ready to think of it. possibly one thing yeah, um, yeah. He's, he's a lovely dude yes um, but yeah it's awkward it's it's odd it's you can't absolutely well. do it yeah because you don't when when you come across people like that, you kind of want to say you want to ask, oh, have you ever thought about using a mic cam? Or you, but you also you feel like that's a step a step too far. You maybe yeah. you shouldn't because they and, obviously and like, they must have thought about it. I, I so I know at least a couple of streamers that have done that, and the response is usually like, oh, I, I'm I'm too anxious to to have my voice or my face on stream, mm -hmm. and it's like you know what that that's totally fair. Yes. Um, but yeah, like at a certain point. If you're just getting raw gameplay, what are you adding to it? Yes, because like that's that's what that's what I think makes Twitch different is it is more about the personalities. Yeah. You have to bring your personality, put some sort of stamp onto it to make it unique. Um, yeah, otherwise, it sounds you like just... a simple thing to say, but you could just go and watch a video like that on YouTube. It's literally you know? what I was going to say. Yeah, um, sorry. You just go watch uh, silent, you know, gameplay videos on YouTube, um, but. You know, you're not on YouTube. You're on Twitch. You mm -hmm. you you know you want that like human interaction. Yeah. Um, I think a microphone is probably the minimum. You can stream yes. with just a microphone. Um, and I think there is a certain charm to like the disembodied voice over the gameplay. Yeah. Um, but so I'd also, say that it I would say like with your friend, how do people come across channels like that? Yeah. You know what I mean. How because like the how if you got no engagement because I'm thinking there's yeah. better on an engagement with a channel who you, you don't even know if they're actually there 
because they're just playing a game, or maybe they're chatting yeah. out again in a window or something, or maybe they've got a time. Well, you know, this one dude's there because the gameplay literally stops and then the chat responds. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that that's it. Um, it's the engagement that that mm-hmm. sort of that brings you in. Um, and I think the so I think the absolute minimum is yeah. a microphone. Um, you don't have to get like a crazy expensive one. You can buy like I mean most headsets. You know that are like affordably priced. This was yes. like a what a sixty dollar headset. Logitech one has a microphone. Most of them just have them built in, and mm-hmm. that's more than enough to like get you going because they're yeah. reasonably decent quality mm-hmm. microphones for what they are. Um, the webcam was actually not something that I'd intended to add initially. Mm. Um, I was playing until dawn with uh, what has become known as the Sleuth Troop. It's a uh, it was my wife TDQ. Um, and her cousin and his wife. Um, and we were playing Until Dawn together. So there were four of us on the couch and we got one stream in and the main feedback that we got from that was, we need a webcam. We want to be uh-huh. able to see you guys. Because yeah. in that particular case, you're playing a horror game. People want to see you jump. Reaction, yeah. And it's, it's, a human, see the reaction. it's a human thing. We're all kind of social animals, as the, the, the cliche says. And then we all kind of want to relate to someone and engage with someone on the screen. That's why we come yep. to Twitch, isn't it? We want to kind of make that human connection. So we all like Absolutely. to see a face. That's so why I always Absolutely. say, you know, when you're scrolling through Instagram or something, you'll stop at a face more often than you stop at, like, seeing a you know, kind of Coke or something. Like, you'll yeah. stop at seeing a human face, and you're probably going to get more engagement likes or whatever on a picture of you. And and I think there is a definite like psychological component to it, like being able to see the person. There is an innate, unspoken, like sort of psychological connection. You know, you you Mm -hmm. see them, you already get like a small inkling of their personality through their appearance and their like facial expressions. And so while I think you don't 100% need a webcam, I think it helps. Yeah. I think and if it, you have, it, it elevates your stream to an extent. And you have, if you haven't, if you do not want to be on screen, then maybe you could look into the kind of VTube kind of thing because that's yes. still given some kind of connection. And yeah. a lot of them map to your. I, I've never used them, but they seem to map to your facial expressions, don't they? And like yep. when you talk, they talk, which is nuts to me. But yes. that's again, that kind of that would be better than having no webcam at all. I know a streamer um, by the name of uh, the Ugly Bargle. Um, mm. He's he's a great dude. Um, he doesn't have a webcam, but he has a little like uh, caricature of himself in the bottom right hand corner, and it speaks when he speaks. Brilliant. Um, and I think that's charming. <laughs> yeah, that is charming. Yeah, I, I, I know someone else. LL Blue Mage. Maybe I shouldn't doesn't... name drop people. I, I think that because that was a positive. Ex- like, no, you yeah. Know, only only yeah. name drop the positives. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But this guy doesn't stream. Uh, I don't know why he's on a break at the moment, but his, I can't remember what it was. It was kind of a mystical. When you, when you turn off the recording, I'll get into the list of names. Oh, yes, where we'll do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be an extra on Patreon, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> Mostly Wolf's top 10 people he hates. So uh, here's, uh, here's my. Uh, he's actually board. made a list. He's made, yeah. he's made a wheel. Give it a lands on. I don't uh, hate I anybody. That's, that's but it's, like, you, it's not essential. Because there are people out there who get you would kind of shiver at the thought of um, putting a webcam out there or a microwave. It's not essential if you just want to be on Twitch. But yep. uh, in all honesty, you will grow faster on Twitch yes. if you've got those elements. I think you- the microphone is essential. Yeah. Um, I think the webcam, yes, it, it 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 will infinitely expand your potential growth. Yeah. Um, because even just seeing, like I said, there's that psychological component. You see a face. Um, but it's fun to like see people's reactions to stuff. Like they're like, oh, they're up to this bit. I wonder how, what they'll do when the, the, the twist happens. And then you see them go, you know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's cool. You don't get that, you know. It, no, you, know, you don't. You want that like in real time as well. Gasp. Yeah. Okay. To the people who have just heard that and thought, oh, God, I don't actually want to put myself out there. I'm a bit scared, right? Here's the question. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> get over your hangups, man. Just do it. Not how, here to babysit you. Sorry. That's how sorry. to overcome the fear of streaming and putting yourself out there. Now, yeah, this was a, um, originally going to be a whole discussion, but I thought, you know what? Let's just have it as part of this. I might be the worst guest to ask this question because, mm-hmm. as I said a couple of times earlier, I have next to no shame. Um, so that, I think... I, I, we I think always like first... this, though. I, yes, I was born like this. I came out, and the doctors were like, "There's nothing. There's nothing we can do." <laughs> Ta-da! I'm here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Let me get the little hat and cane. Um, that was the hair. 
<laughs> pretty pretty much, dude. Like even in like primary school, all yep. I wanted to do was like you know make the class laugh. Like yes. I was your, your class clown. You know, yes. and my grades definitely suffered, but you know I made people laugh. So you know, yeah. ultimately worth it. Yeah. Similar. Um. So yeah, it, for whatever reason, it was never a hurdle for me. Um. I got way more nervous about this today uh -huh. than I have for any stream that I've done. Wow. Um, or when Billy, when I had that chat on uh, Billy Crab's channel, same thing. I was like, I don't know why, but I got so nervous for that. Probably because I'm not afraid to make a fool of myself, but I don't want to bring down somebody else's oh, no stream, way. you know? I wouldn't. I so, would. No, you'd be silly. Yeah. But, um, so when I started, because I suppose well, I, I can sort of this a little bit. I mean, I've been similar. When I was younger, I was similar. I was, I, I would, I would say we're a bit of a show off. We're show offs, aren't we? Yep. I mean, to be on Twitch, yep. you've kind of got to be a bit like that. You know, you put yourself out there, a bit of a show off. But when I started making YouTube videos, I found that incredibly hard. You know, talking to just the oh, camera. Yeah. And with no feedback or whatever, and I and I hated editing and stuff like that afterwards because oh, I didn't want to look at myself. And I've I've dabbled with you know videos and short films and stuff over the years, and it's it's a completely different beast uh, because, like you said, there is no direct feedback. But particularly if you're like working on something for like a protracted amount of time, and you're editing it, and you've watched it seven hundred thousand times yeah. because you just want to make sure that it flows well, that all the sound effects deploy at the right time. And it's so easy to get in your own head and be like, this is trash. Like, why would anybody, <laughs> yes. yeah. why would anybody want to yeah. watch this? This is just, this is the worst. Why am I even wasting my time? And then you upload it and then, you know, someone will contact you and go, oh, that, that video was great. You know, yeah. it gets a like or whatever. And because they haven't seen it 700,000 times, they're seeing it for the first time. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's, very it's, different beast. It's very different than Twitch. Um, and I would say for you, you know, if you start on YouTube, it's kind. Of, I would always say um, it's it's kind of quantity over quality at yeah. the start until you realize, oh, it, now it's quality over quantity. You do it the other way yeah. around. That's kind of how you do it. But when I started on YouTube, I I was doing videos. I had to have a picture of my wife next to my camera, and I was pretending I was talking to her. That's how I would do it. Little square, oh, little that's photo. Dude, that's adorable. <laughs> that's how I would do it. It's like, like the Simpsons do it. thing. It's like the Simpsons thing with Simpsons um. Thing. Uh, when Homer in his workstation, there's like the sign that says, and remember, you're here forever. And he's like covered, <laughs> he's like covered a bunch of the letters with like pictures of Maggie and it just oh. says, do it, do it for her. Oh, and it's, gosh. it's like the most touching little Jeez. Simpsons moment. Um, oh, but that, that's what it reminded you of when you said you had a photo of your wife there. It's like, <laughs> also, oh, anyone could do it because I need to, in, you know, have the engagement, talk to someone else. Yeah. And then, whereas nowadays you've got the picture of me there. Um, the <laughs> exactly. Big, the big high you. res, you know, just, and then you just like, ah, you beautiful bastard. There you go. And that's the, all I need. Yeah. That's all I need. <laughs> just above the bed. That's okay. Moving <laughs> <Just above>. on. <laughs> He'll be watching his sleep from now on, dear. <laughs> but I always see, like, this is a confidence question, really, isn't it? And so when I went live on Twitch and people stopped, well, I suppose when I went live on YouTube, I remember I had this conversation just with, just like the week before the pandemic probably hit over here where we had to get into isolation mood. And I was talking to my wife and saying, you know what, I feel like just going live on YouTube for like and just seeing what it is, you know, because I'm, I'm and she was like, why? And I was like, because I'm, I'm scared. And I was like, so I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Because I've always got that kind That's of mentality. Awesome. If you're scared of something, just try it. And then I went yep. there, went live, didn't even know what I was doing. And I, I'm, and then I was like, you know what? If anyone turns up, I'm going to say, if you got a website, I'm going to review it. And that was that's what I started doing when I, when I first kind of video I did when I went live on YouTube. I was going to look for you YouTube channel and they're your um, your website. And I'm going to say maybe you should put that button there and all this and kind of use the website knowledge I had. I've been as a website designer and uh, with loads of musicians turned up, obviously because I had a lot of um, videos about music stuff. And I would look at their websites and say, hey, maybe you should put this there, this there, this there. And it was kind of like That's then awesome. it kind of built up a little bit over that. And then um, the, and then over Twitch, it was different because I was a bit, I was not as, it would helped because I built up some confidence as talking to people, talking to a straight to a camera like this and, you know, having little segues and this, well, now we're going to move on to this and all that stuff. And that built up a lot of confidence. But it was, I always think confidence, and this sounds like a cliche as well, but it's, all it is is repetition. Yeah, you do something more than once, then do it again, do it again, and then you you forget why you were scared in the first place. Well, that that's like anything. That's like you know, putting yourself out there, trying something new, trying to learn a new skill. Um, it's it's repetition.
It's yeah. 100% repetition. That You can apply that to basically everything in your life. Yeah. That's why when you take a week or so off streaming, or even I have to take a week on off, I, I'm like, okay, where is everything? And I get a little bit like, oh, God, where did I put that? I'm just kind of yeah. Thinking, you put it a couple of days. I, I've I've definitely gotten into like a rut psychologically where I just won't stream because I'm just not in a great place mentally. Yes. Um, and then I'll be, you know, you get into these little self-destructive spirals and you're sort of like, you know, well, what's the point? Like, why would anyone watch? No one would tune in. And it's like, don't be silly. Like, you've got, you know, you've built an audience. There are people that do tune in. Like, it's, it's just everybody's got their own hang-ups, but... Yes. Yeah, I've never had an issue with finding the confidence because yeah. I have endless unearned confidence. Um, absolutely, <laughs> I, I have no, I have no, uh, <laughs> no, no uh, right to speak with the authority that I do on a lot of things. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's uh, and and that's not going to be the same for everybody. Um, yeah, if you happen to already have that like class clown personality. Um, it'll be a smoother transition for you. If you're a little bit more anxious, I mean, you can still do it. You just need to, like you said, jump out of your comfort zone and just just power through it. You know and as we were mean? saying like, before, you you know what? Everyone's going to start at zero for everything you ever do. Yeah. So embrace the fact that it's no one's going to turn up or, you know, no one's going to watch or it's just going to go horribly wrong for the first time. You know, your stream might just die after five seconds. But guess what? The next stream might yeah. die after 10 seconds and one person might just casually browse and walk past, you know, and then yeah. the next one, it kind of like, it builds up, it builds up. You get to 30 seconds, 40 seconds, <laughs> and then it's, uh, eventually. And you've got a great montage video there of yeah. the amazing streams. Just cut to like rocky music. Da -da -da, da -da -da, of just the stream dying and then it's like a week later, different outfit. Da -da 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 -da. But I think you get to that point where you if you're you've got a fear about doing it, but you want to do it, I think that's the yeah. kind of formula we're getting out there. Because if you want to do it, be scared of doing it. I mean, that's what we're saying. Try because there are people yeah. out there who were like who were scared of doing it, but also actually that's not for them. They actually don't want to do it really, but they go, oh, you know what? It's not it's not really for me. And I also I couldn't do it. My, some of the people wife, who know they want to do it. My wife, who also streams uh, Toilet Duck Quack, um, mm -hmm. she was. Um, I remember at one point she had to do like a work presentation. And she was really nervous about it. And she was like, I just have to like, I have to you know, get up there. And I'm, and she was working from home as well. So it was like a web presentation and she was so nervous about it. And I'm like, and I was like, it's just a Twitch stream. Like this, you've done this. Like you're just literally talking to a camera and, you know, showing some stuff off. And like, do you get nervous when you have like X amount of people watching you? Because guarantee you've had more people in your streams than you will have for this presentation. And she was like, you know, you're right. And then she went on and, and aced it. <laughs> Nate, yeah, nailed it. But it's, I mean, it's, it's it, a lot of it is just your mindset. Yeah. I mean, you don't realize as well, just saying that, how much you actually learn from doing Twitch, you know, yeah. just being, going live. It's going to help you out in other areas you didn't realize would help you out. Not Absolutely. even just about going live and the confidence it will, you know, surely give you, but also about dealing with, you know, uh, technology. Like, okay, that's one little bit I want to segue into is that, how do you, you know, create, you know, all the amazing overlays and everything that you've got on your channel? Ooh. Like, how did you come up with that? Did you come up with that day one? You just got before a stream, before streams, you go, I'm going to do, this is how it's going to be. We're going to map out the next five years. are going to be just like this. <laughs> this is my five-year plan to... Because uh... I think a lot of new streamers look at like, some channels and go, oh, God, how do I even do this? I don't even know how to make one scene. You know, how, what, would you, how, what advice would you give to those people? Um, yeah, no, I absolutely did not have any of this stuff like set up from scratch. And I, th I still think my streams are fairly uh, janky compared to like some of the ones that I see like out there. Um, but no, absolutely not. It was like, I'd see it, other streamers have things. Like I didn't even know how to set up notifications. And I would oh, like wow. ask a friend to be like, I notice you've got like, it pops up when people like, <laughs> yes, how do you yeah. do that? And then they're like, oh yeah, you can just go to any number of these websites, copy this link and you're done. I'm like, oh, it's that easy. And, um, but yeah, literally I didn't know how to do anything. It was like, I'd, I'd see other streamers do it. And then I'd be like, how do you do that? And then I'd YouTube it and like, and read up on it and then teach myself. <laughs> this was saying before um, about if you were being, if you got given all of this day one, you'd just be overwhelmed. You wouldn't know how to yeah. use any of it. And also I wouldn't have the attachment to all this mm. stuff that I've built myself, yes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
But uh, yeah, like I, even the concept of a starting soon screen um, doesn't, it's not immediately obvious that that mm -hmm. was something that you need. Um, yeah. Because I used to just go, I'm live. Hello, everybody. You know, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, back same, playing. Uh, same. And eventually people will tune in because obviously I just went live. So we'll yeah. give people a couple of minutes to uh, to pop on in. And, uh, you know, the, the whole concept of a starting soon screen is that people can see the notification that you've gone live. And then it's like a, a little waiting room. Uh, so they Do don't you know miss what? anything. I've only just realized that recently as well. Because I would have the going going live. I'd have my intro screen. And I just go, okay, wait till um, nine o'clock when I'm on. Okay, go live. And now I realize, wait a minute, I can have that intro screen and wait for some people to arrive before yeah. I go live. Yeah. You know, and there's no rule of technically saying, oh, you've got to go live on the dot. So I just wait no. now until there's people, because otherwise, what you said, you're just going to go live and go, there's nobody there. You may yeah. as well wait for people. There's no exactly. rule. The exactly. Exactly. I'm not going to come for you. <laughs> no, that's it. Um, Dr. Disrespect, who is no longer with Twitch apparently streamed like he had his open uh his uh starting soon screen was like a, a cg car that was like driving around <laughs> and apparently he just let that loop for like hours before he showed up <laughs> um so yeah they, they can't stop you that's you know no. she can do that if you want you can do what you want yeah um but yeah like it's 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 not something that anybody ever explains to you as something that you need but it makes perfect sense it's like oh it gives people time to like tune in yeah. And so the first starting soon screen that I had, I grabbed my camera and I grabbed my, my rock band drum kit and dragged them out into the backyard. And I was listening to a song. Um, it was the, that lockdown song that uh, Giant Bomb used to use for their um, their streams. And, I was, and so it was like lockdown. I was playing that in my headphones and I was like pantomiming, drumming along to it. <laughs> oh, I've got off the ceiling. And That's it just awesome. said stream starting soon and land and I just let it loop. And that was my starting soon screen I love that. for That's great. Thank you. That was my <laughs> starting soon screen for a very long time. Um mm -hmm. and then it was it was Cricket Elder who um popped around. My my good buddy, we were streaming Discworld Noir, and he was like, So we're playing this like noir detective game. And we've got a video of you drumming to like this upbeat and like, this doesn't fit the game <laughs> at all. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. It doesn't fit. Let's figure yeah. something out. And so TDQ, like we dressed up in our, like, cause we, we sort of dress up for the, the streams that we do on the Fridays. Um, we put on, you know, like fedoras and like ties and everything tried to make ourselves look like, you know, noir detectives and TDQ took a photo of us. <laughs> um, and like made it black and white. Um, and that's where the term, you might need to edit this stuff. I don't know. Um, no, go, go. Because it was, because we were doing a new art detective game. The title of that first stream was, we're just a couple of dicks, you know, ah. like, like dicks, <laughs> private eyes. Right. And now you're immediately like, yeah, okay. I'm going to cut out this whole thing. Um, no, that's, that's fine, where that's the fine. name, that's where the name came from. Like I knew that was private coming eyes, <laughs> private eye yeah. detectives, yeah. right? So the stream was just called just a couple of dicks and it was a <laughs> photograph um, with like the new R font, right? Yeah. And then that sort of evolved into us doing like specific photo shoots, you know, like we'll take photos of us posing and like for the next stream, well, like I had a big magnifying glass and he was standing over me with like a notebook and, you know, we made that black and white, put the text on. And then from there, I realized that my um, Adobe subscription that I used for uh, photography editing stuff also had Photoshop. And so I started slowly teaching myself mm. Photoshop and getting more and more elaborate with these images and like putting different effects and like changing the backgrounds and the lighting and the blending. And then that sort of bled into, you know, putting animations on top of it. And it just, it just it gave you a reason to use constant... all of that stuff as well, didn't it? You give you a reason yeah. to use that subscription. But it's like a constant one-upsmanship with yes. myself where yes. I want the next, I, I want every starting soon screen to be crazier yeah. and bigger than the yeah. previous one. So somebody who's new looking at that would be thinking, oh my God, you know, you, you've got to come into Twitch with all these skills, you but you actually learned them yeah. on, the, the, while you were streaming, basically. Exactly. Yeah. Because I wanted to like up the production values yeah. as much as I could. And yeah. it all just grew out of that organically. How do you make those then? Are they all in Photoshop? Because with all the animation stuff, or is it is that so, not Photoshop? Is it? No. So I uh, the images themselves are made in Photoshop. Now this mm -hmm. is a this is a uh, an exclusive 
because I've been deliberately very vague oh, about the actual if software you don't that wanna, I use. If you don't want to tell people, that's fine. It's like the whole point of this here is to like help people get started, right? Yes. Yep. So it's fine. But I've always been deliberately vague. They're like, what <laughs> software do you use? And I'm like, oh, it's like a like a bit like After Effects thing. <laughs> it's it's actually a um it's a phone app that I that I stumbled across years ago uh, that's called uh Werble. Werble. It's like W E R uh B L E. And oh, it is okay. a program that lets you add um, animations to photographs. And, um, you know, you, there is a free version you can download. It's got a thumbnail in the corner, but I think the app itself was like $7. Wow. Um, but it, it basically functions like a like a bootleg After Effects. I'm going to say, yeah, it sounds where, like After Effects. Yeah, because you can add mm. animations and it's like, okay, here's the animation. You can place it wherever you want on the image and then you can adjust the opacity and the transparency and then the different layers you can like, okay, you can have that. You can have the smoke behind the fire and then you have like the sparks coming up there and then you can add like this in the background. But if you want it to go behind this person's head, you can like paint out the path yeah. so that it looks like it's traveling behind it. And yeah, it's it's a mobile phone app, um, but the tool set that it gives you is like kind of bordering on what you'd get out of something like After Effects, like a, like yeah. a proper legit program. Um, and so I export those as a video and then I plug my phone into my laptop and drag the video over. Oh my and word. It into OBS <laughs> and I do that for every stream. I mean, you knew how to do that just before Twitch as well. I can't believe it. you went in there with this whole idea. I'm going to do this for the next five years. I'm going to use it, all these <laughs> skills and you. <laughs> but Absolutely again, you, not. That, it, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Because I think... We said before about you know kind of letting other people know how you do things. That's how we know how to do a lot of the things we know yeah. how to do now. You know, or we just look. We all go on a channel and go, "Wow, look at this channel! I want to kind of steal exactly some of this." Exactly it. As much as I was like playing it close to the chest because I'm like, I want people to know how to do this. I want them to be like, "Wow, no one else has <laughs> this." But the reason you and I know how to do the things we know how to do is like ninety mm percent -hmm. us yep. watching YouTube videos of people that were much kinder about sharing their information. Yeah, exactly. So, or we'll go into another uh, Twitch stream and see yeah. all these things, and that will kind of a lot of the times I, I will watch someone else's Twitch stream, and I'll have, I'll have my notepad next to me, and I'm like, oh, do you know what? I kind of want to do that, but you always do it in your own way anyway. So it's like what's that quote where great artists steal or something like that? It's kind of like that where you're going to take it, but you do it in your own creative perspective there's because. lots of different ways to look at it um because you know the, the ma majority of art is derivative where it's mm -hmm. like yeah it's, I, I feel like it's a a bit of a stretch to call what i do art but you know it's it's oh, derivative you, oh, yes. you see what somebody does and you know you like try to put your own spin on that idea yeah um and you know they they do say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So yeah, you know, that's, that's true. That's a great way to get around being accused of like plagiarism. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? But you know what? Like we're in the next couple of weeks, we'll probably see something on YouTube or on another Twitch channel where we go, "I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to do something like that." And I, I, I kind of yeah. hope I I still keep that going forward because yeah, I I, I keep, like the I, idea. You don't want your Twitch channel to. That that'll be it, you know. That's I'm done because that I keep I don't seeing stuff. I keep seeing stuff on other streamers, and 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 I'll and I'll go. That's such a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Yes, and that's why like, how I do I how that? do I incorporate something like that without yes. just straight up ripping it off? Yes, um, and that's the thing I struggle with a lot of the time. Um, that my pal Nick's Krieg that I mentioned earlier, um, he used to have a thing on his channel. I don't think he still does have it. Actually, he just hasn't streamed for a little bit. But he's got he had a thing called the Wheel of Misfortune, um, where whenever somebody subs, they could spin the Wheel of Misfortune, and it was this big Wheel of Fortune thing that would spin, and it would land on something like he has to do a funny voice, and you pick what voice he does, or he has to play the game with his feet, or he has to wear a hat, or like take <laughs> his glasses off, or like you know mute the audio or like play inverted and it was just all this different stuff on this wheel and it was such a cool way yeah. to like make the audience uh feel more engaged and included in the content and also an incentivization for people to sub as well because it was like oh there's, yeah there's, definitely it's not just you're not just doing it out of kindness of your heart you're also getting something fun out of it too definitely <laughs> yeah. I, weirdly enough, i've often thought about creating a wheel but not a digital wheel but like a physical thing which would take a lot awesome. more time. 
And oh, yeah. have, I don't know what kind of thing I would do with it, but again, it's like, you know, you do that and you say, oh, wait, wait a minute, have I just copied off Miss Creek or <laughs> something? But it's not. Exactly. It's like, again, it's like you, a lot of the time also, you'll probably have the same ideas as somebody else, but because no idea is really original. Like, I, you know, yeah. I, 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 one of my things now, I, I have become a buddy. Uh, make a children's TV presenter, and I've got a puppet with me as well. That's probably been done a million times. Oh, yeah. But you know, yeah, yeah, your yeah. own thing, isn't it? And that's what that's why I suppose uh, to answer that question for people, just watch other streams um, yeah. and watch those YouTube tutorials. It is absolutely okay to be it. inspired by people as well. Yes. Um, just try and put your own spin on it. Right. Okay. This will be a double one, and it's just be, this will be the last question, right? Uh, so uh, kind of the same. Do you fill out your bio? on your Twitch page. I don't actually know if you do. Oh, man, I don't know I why. Should. I should. Um, I, I thought I there was haven't. a reason, because I see other people not do it, and I'm thinking, what, is there a reason why they do it? It's just laziness, mate. It's just, really? uh, yeah, like I always forget about it. Like TDQ's um, has, she, my wife, Toilet Duck Quack, has one of the nicest bios I've seen. If you click on her page, mm -hmm. she's actually got little panels where she's like, about me, the games I play, the games I've already played, the time that I normally stream, and it's just, it gives us so much information, and it's so nicely laid out. Mine says, what does it say? Um, variety streamer and full-time idiot. Join the Wolfpack today. You've literally that's, just got the, the, the that's synopsis, my the profile. Th that's the one. So that's just... all I've done. That's all I've filled out. Yeah. And you just haven't got round to adding the other stuff? Probably, yeah. I just I've, I've never felt the need to. Um, I, I always think like, oh, that's something I should do, but I just haven't. Yeah, because I put this on the um, list because I th I kind of think it's important. I mean, I don't think many yeah. people check it while you're live because a lot of the time I'll say, oh, it's in the description, and people have to scroll down or whatever. But people who are right. checking your vod out afterwards kind of might have your vod on and then check out a little bit of information about who you it's, are. It it's a great idea, like particularly if you talk about games that you've played, like mm -hmm. it can give people like a, a feel of what the channel is going to be. Like it's so it's definitely something I've intended to do, yeah. um, but I've just never gotten around to it. I haven't really yeah. felt like uh, the compunction. I think I changed it to say, uh, so it says variety streamer, photographer, <laughs> podcaster, and full time video. <laughs> Jack, so I've three. added a couple more to it as well, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I recommend definitely adding to it. I mean, okay. just all the basic stuff like your bio and, um, you know, your social links can are already covered in the um, synopsis bit, aren't they? You can put them there. Yeah, I think mine has a link to my Twitter for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Like, don't don't follow me on Twitter. Like, there's, Okay, that's the next question. I was going to ask. Twitter's social media. Social, social media is great. Follow me on Twitter. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> This is where I cut this section up just for a, a YouTube <laughs> short. You don't see the yep. previous bit where he says, don't follow me on Twitter. So what, what yeah. are your thoughts on social media to help? Like, I, I think it's really important nowadays to diversify where you are, you know? So oh, you've, you, you've done a phenomenal job of being omnipresent. Like you're everywhere. You're on you're on every social media oh. to, to some extent or another. And, um, and I feel like, I mean, you should just make the tutorial and I'll watch it. Um, <laughs> I just think it's important uh, to be in a few places that you enjoy being. So I don't sure. really enjoy being on Facebook nowadays. It might change. Yeah. You know, that might change up in the future. But at the moment, it's not really my kind of thing. But Instagram, yeah, I, I quite I, enjoy. I think I was advertising my streams in the very early days yes. uh, on Facebook. Um, and now I'm sort of like, I don't want half these people to watch me. Like <laughs> Exactly. And it's friends and family want... and things like that. And they're not the kind of people who would enjoy it anyway. So it feels like it's just a waste of my time and a waste of, oh, you know. The, Uncle the Greg's feed. a bit of a knob. I don't want him to do <laughs> Exactly, yeah. 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 And also because on Facebook, you have to pay. If you've got your own like page, you know, your public page, you have to pay to kind of um, uh, to address th those people who are following you nowadays. That's just how it works right. on Facebook. So it's just like, okay. well, is it worth your time? Probably not. Depends. Yeah, I, I, um. I, I had, a, I still have it. I the How blog account that I mentioned for photography. I there was like a solid almost two years where I was like my one creative outlet was photography and trying to sort of build a presence there. So I was like posting every day and using all the hashtags and like following other people and commenting on their stuff to like you know try and you know build a, an audience. Yeah. Um, so social media absolutely can be successful. Um, trying to get a successful Instagram account is almost like a crash course in marketing mm -hmm. because you got to think about how to present yourself, how to sell yourself mm -hmm. as, as a product. Um, and you know, you, it, there's a, there's a legit science to it. Like, Oh, if you post 
at, at you know, if you post it at 5.30, you'll get people coming off work that are, uh, you know, on the, like on the commute home that are more likely to see the post. Or if you post it at this time, you'll get people that are like, you know, like a, on the other side of the world who are like... I'll tell you what, though, more. it's kind of it's slightly changed nowadays, though, because the Instagram algorithm is different, where uh, it's not oh, really? in a chronological order. They'll just kind of save it to, you know, they put it out and do a little test and see if it does well there. Then well, there you go. I've, I've been out of the Instagram all game for, for like two years, but like that's how, that was the game, so to speak, at the time. Well, you've got the likes of, uh, so you got, I use Instagram and I use Twitter to say when I'm going to go live most days. Um, and yeah. I know I need to use Twitter more for kind of, you know, just talking about other things, but I generally just use it for going live because of, and I, I'll, I'll see in Twitch stats that people, you know, will see those tweets, see all the time they come in. So I don't want to kind of let those people down. We're just using Twitter as a way of like getting in. That's it. Like I've got, we've got our discords that are just yes. like, that's their primary function mm -hmm. is like to be a hub for the communities. So you always post it there, and yeah. in theory, they'll see that first. They should yes. see the notification if they haven't turned it off. Um, I mean, so who, like I, no. yeah. <laughs> How <laughs> many people, discords are you in? <laughs> oh, every, that's the thing. Everybody's in a million discords. Yeah. I just tell people like, if you want to know when we're going live, leave the yeah. uh, going live one unmuted. <laughs> yes. Um, but, uh, you know, people pop into your stream four hours in and be like, man, I had no idea you were live. Yeah, it's it like, happens, it was like yeah. eight different notifications. Yeah. Like, that's on you, man. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe don't I would need say everything. Discord <laughs> is the best. And um, I mean, before we get into the, the other social medias, when do you think is a good time to create your own Discord? Do you think you should do it instantly or should you do it? If you oh, know what Discord man. is, basically, wait, it's basically a, a forum. Based on online forum that you can create yeah, Discord community around is a, your, is a your thing. phenomenal way to like build a community outside of your streams mm -hmm. um, and sort of get to know people. And um, uh, Discord's great. I've, I've really come around it. I think it, if it counts as a social media platform, it's probably my favorite yeah, one at this me point. Me too. Um, but I struggled with that for a long time. Um, my buddy uh, buddies, who I've mentioned multiple times this uh, video, so Normal Type and Nix Krieg um, had their ha had their. They still have it. The uh, they have a community called the Friendos, um, which was several streamers together. It was mm -hmm. Nix Krieg and Normal Type and Kaev and Pepu, and it was it was all of them together. And um, I thought that was a great idea because the thing that I kept bumping into is that like. Am I big enough to justify having my own Discord? Like, it's just me. Here I am. Like, I I felt like I didn't for the longest time. It was just like, I, I don't think anyone would join it. Or like, I, I don't think it, it almost feels, and this is just my personal feelings on it. It almost felt arrogant to be mm -hmm. like, you know, particularly when you're starting out and you don't have a, a like a su substantial following and you're like, join my Discord for the latest updates on me and what I'm doing and I had this for breakfast and it, it just felt weird to me. Um, so I kind of aped that idea of the um, of the friendos where it's like, well, what if it's several small, small streamers together? And so that was where mostly Doc, Duck Body came out of it. It was uh, mostly Wolf, my wife, Toilet Duck Quack, and our buddy, Trocky Body, mostly Duck Body. And it was like it's the, the three communities kind of like a melting pot mm. into one. Um, now that's not going to be the case for everybody. You obviously have a Mr. DJ Discord, mm -hmm. um, but also you're huge, mate. You're you're, you're just you're, you're blowing up left and right. It's just um... I didn't start like that though. Oh, God, don't even say that. I didn't start with the Mr. <laughs> DJ Discord. Right, it was the DIY yes. Discord, wasn't so it? So I yeah. started on when I was doing the live Tuesday sessions here on YouTube. Um, there's somebody asked, "Have you have you got a Discord?" And I was, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't know what Discord was at that point. This yeah. is how how you learn things. I was using Slack. I use Slack for work, and oh, Slack God, was basically yeah. the equivalent to like a professional version, you know, for teams and things. I was using that, so I thought, "Isn't it just Slack?" And then I realized like they, you have to pay for a lot of features in, in Slack that you get for free in Discord. And I thought, when looking at Discord, I thought, "Is this just for gamers?" But then you just realize, actually, no, it's just it's the equivalent to what a PHP bulletin board was years ago when it's used over all the time. And uh, and then we everyone jumped on from there to Facebook and the like, and then kind of jumped over to Discord, which is equivalent of what it used to be a years ago. So I started one of those for my community for musicians. And when I joined Twitch, 
a lot more people were asking. Like, I only had a small community there. It was kind of growing, I suppose, but with a lot of musicians. But you already you already had the community, so it was like it was justified at that point. And yeah. you weren't just doing one thing. You were, yeah. you know, it was the whole DIY chat, and you were making music. Yeah, yeah so being, you probably you didn't kept bump that? into what I bumped into with the like. Is this justified? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But then again, when because it was called the DIY Musician Guide or the whatever it was, DIY Hards, it was called the DIY Hards. Is it play on Die Hard? Um, oh, and yeah, I know. I just it, got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got a Morgan everything for it. And uh, so I kind of felt okay because it wasn't my name. So I get what you're coming from, where you're coming from there. But when I went into Twitch as my own name, because obviously I'm not going to go in. My YouTube channel's called Mrs. TJ. So my Twitch channel's called Mrs. TJ. And a lot of people, when I started streaming, were saying, you know, have you got a Twitch? Have you got a Discord? And I was like, I do. And I kept doing this, this you know, invisible juggling thing. When I'm going, I do. But, you know, it's like mainly for creative people, for musicians mainly. And then over time, I just let the floodgates open and let people in. And then because it became like a bit more top heavy with like viewers and streamers, I kind of evolved that section of it into not just musicians, but creators. And I'm still trying to do that to this day when I'm because I want more people who are creators to come in and help yeah. each other out. I um thing. when I joined your Discord, it was the DIY guide. Yeah. Um, and it was and it confused me initially. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it was exactly. like the DIY. And then then I through that I discovered your YouTube presence and it was like, oh, so okay, there was this whole other thing prior to Twitch. Um, and I and I know you've got a fair few people in your discord that are still just yeah. there for that creator aspect of it where they're just you know talking about their own music and the stuff that they're working on and then obviously they've become and vastly now we've also marginalized that- by the ste nation <laughs> but i realize as well because yeah the, the, the rock people- would be uh he'd come out and be like and whether it's one of the millions and millions of the stj fans <laughs> But I realized over time, with the types of um, YouTube content I was making, it wasn't just musicians who were watching, say, the guides, especially over the pandemic. There was a lot of um, educators coming in and wanting to know how to live stream using um, the likes of StreamYard, which I've I've been actually using for this, uh, and all those kind of things. And that kind of opened my eyes. I was like, well, wait a minute, I might broaden the way I do things on YouTube and also, you know, open up. Uh, maybe match what I'm doing on Discord to Twitch. So I remember just making this decision. I'm going to change it to Mrs. DJ. And in the same way with you, where you were like, oh, I felt a bit arrogant. I kind of had the same thing. And I did it. And I was kind of sitting there waiting for someone to go, oh, you've changed the name. Oh, why have you done that? I was kind of like sitting there like, ooh. I felt a bit weird about it because it's been the DIY guide for so long. And then I just changed it. Because because then you get the synergy, which I think is really important when you got a kind of online presence and kind of back to like social media you know, it, overall, it's kind of, it's really important to have that same kind of presence overall. So people kind of can hop between one and the other and kind of feel like, oh, I I'm, I know where I am. Yeah. Um, it's weird with uh, Instagram as well, because, you know, I'm how blog on Instagram and mm-hmm. I'll comment on like an imaginary Holly post. And, and yes. I know the first time I did that, she had no idea who I was. <laughs> um and I sort of messaged her. I'm like, oh, it's mostly Wolf. So, oh, oh, cool. Oh, awesome. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Have you ever I thought should... about changing name in that? Or would you want to keep it as Howlblog in case you want to go will. back to it? I probably will. Um, it is It is such a s- different entity because it's like it has nothing to do with streaming. It is purely alleged, like just photography stuff. Mm-hmm. But I've thought about changing the name just so that you know it's me. Yes. And then maybe I could start posting streaming related stuff there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Well, yeah, it's an interesting know. one, isn't it? That's an interesting social media thing, thing is tackle. definitely important, and people uh, have definitely utilized it to great success. Um, I'm just not one of them yet. What about <laughs> hover? I will end with hover because it's a new. Uh, basically, I don't know how to even explain what hover is. It's a new social hover's, media. Hover's TikTok, TikTok is, for yeah. essentially TikTok for gamers is like yes. the bare bones. Um, sort of description of it but yeah tiktok for like content creators who want to like get their name out there um tdq joined hover like a month or two ago and was Mm -hmm. like this seems interesting and then um the the day i joined it i searched mr stj it was like the first thing i did 
And it was like, oh, of course he's here already. Of course he's got <laughs> I think his, probably his finger during in every the pie. same day. I, I remember yeah. going to someone's uh, stream past a plunger who he was watching, and he said he was like, "Have you been? Have you gone on hover?" And I was like, "What? What is hover?" And I instantly downloaded it because I like to dabble on these things. Mm -hmm. I still, it's still for me, kind of. I'm still like trying it out. I don't really understand the algorithm of it, or yeah, and it's yeah, I, and I probably don't. I haven't really gotten the feel of it yet, the pulse no. of it yet. Um, and I use it very casually where I'll chuck a, like a, a post up and then just not touch it for five days and then come back and like, oh, this got a bunch of likes. Oh, cool. And, you know. I think and, it's because uh, we've already, and maybe this, we've already kind of got, even though it's small, we've both kind of got an established kind of community around our streams. But yeah. I think if you're using that from, if you are a new streamer, it might be worth checking out Hover if you're looking for like-minded streamers to kind of The cool thing with. about Hover is that you you can link your Twitch account directly to it. Mm. And it tells you when somebody views your um, your Twitch page from your Hover. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Do you cool. like so that? I kind of don't like that. That makes because me not then wanna, you're like yeah because you then you're like check people out because then you're like why didn't they follow like exactly <laughs> I don't like that and they were like not in all for honestly me. there might be people I want to check out but because they will get notified that I have checked their channel out I won't do it I kind of wish you could turn that off like that's on a, fair you it should is, be able to turn is, that off in your own settings it is cool because you can see the engagement happening in real time mm -hmm. I think that's neat. Um, but also, yeah, I kind of agree with you. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit weird. Yeah. Um, and then there was the, in order to utilize Hover to its maximum potential, um, I ended up downloading a like a, a phone app that allows you to just uh, download and edit your uh, uh, Twitch clips. Um, and it's very cool. It lets you move your like webcam around and like position it and like, you know, have it like optimized yes. specifically for it. Um, for some reason, that app also has a little button that shows you people that have unfollowed you. Oh no! And and I'm no. like, why? No, why, no, did, no. why is that there? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. No, I don't want to know. Yeah, this comes into my whole thing. Like I, I mentioned this with Holly, but about like for me personally, I'm I'm at a point where I don't want to look at numbers because I think yeah. even though I tell myself, oh, it's all fine, it doesn't affect me. It does to a certain degree, in the same way you said earlier about you know if someone comes into your stream, even though you know you, you know how to deal with them, to a certain degree somewhere it's gonna mess with you. It, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, and it has the opposite effect as well, where you'll look at the the amount of viewers that you have, and it makes you feel good. It's like, man, mm -hmm. this is awesome. Like people are tuning in, and by the same token, if you have a less successful stream, it might bum you out that you got yeah. significantly less than the other day, and. I'm pretty good at not letting that get to me, mm -hmm. but it still does sometimes. Yeah. So I think there is a definite advantage, like the psychological component of like turning those numbers off and just not looking at them at all. But God damn it, I want to know. I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> if it's there. I can't help myself. If it's there for the taking, you're going to be like, yeah. Oh. If, if yeah. it was hidden, I'd probably occasionally tab it back on. And then I'm going to yeah. see the stream anal analytics at the end anyway from like yeah. the emails they send. So, like, so I, you know, th there's the thing with that. And I'm going to kind of end on there. I suppose that the uh, Twitch sends out these emails, uh, which gives you analytics. And for the longest time, I had that switched off. And I need to switch it off again because because as soon as it comes in, I try and delete it. Right. But um, mm -hmm. I had to switch it back on because at the end of last year, they told everybody you can't get your, um, you know, your end of year breakdown or what it was, the Twitch overview of how many, if you didn't have the marketing things uh, switched on. So if you're not really? getting, switched, yeah, so that's why I didn't get them. I didn't get any of those uh, in, like, the end of year breakdowns, which I was oh, wow. kind of looking forward to because everyone shared those. I thought, they were kind of fun. Who did you watch mostly this year and all that stuff? Um you were my number one most watched streamer by like oh. an Olympic mile, by the oh. way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, That's big incredible. fan, big fan, happy to be on the show. Uh, you know, <laughs> long time watcher, first time caller. Uh, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, you would have been up there as well, mine. I'm just, I wish yeah. I just had the evidence, you know, because it's fun to kind of have a look at that stuff, but you've yeah. got to turn that marketing stuff on, but then you, you're going to get hit by well, that stuff. I actually, I'm on the opposite end of that spectrum. I get three emails every time I finish the stream. Oh, three? Because um, Twitch sends you one, but then other services that you sign up for. So I signed up for stream elements so that I could start producing merch. 
Oh, and yes. Stream Elements actually send you an email as well. That is actually oh. a much, much more comprehensive breakdown. Uh, like it shows I... you, it shows you like, oh, yeah. here's the, you know, um, the chart of like when uh, <laughs> viewers over time, and then it's like here's the raid, and then here's people leaving after the raid. You know, oh, slowly geez. going down, and then here's another raid, and then I mean, then... I guess that's helpful. It even has a, a breakdown point. of um, uh, like it figures out your earnings like uh in terms of like and and again i don't do it for the money so yeah. if i don't get any bits or cheers a stream i don't consider that a failure as long mm -hmm. as people came in and had a good time like that's mm -hmm. that's the only reason i'm streaming i never yeah. tell people to sub or, or like but it's, bits. but it's also I'm, awesome that it happens oh, dude i'm <laughs> yeah, so I, it brings me to the verge we, of tears yeah, when yeah. like a hype train happens oh yeah this guy came into my chat the other day and i sort of feel weird about even sharing a story like this because it sort of feels like bragging and I, I don't want it to come across that way. But I suppose it's a, it's a one in a million, you know, that is going to happen kind of thing. Yeah. You can't um, you'll remember it. A guy came in who has been watching me pretty much since the beginning. He started tuning in when Chirok and I were um, streaming Halo. Um, and so he's been watching since I was streaming from the Xbox before I had like a capture card or like any like wow. proper streaming gear or any of this stuff. And he comes in and he goes, I want to give you something, but I don't want you to, to complain about it. You just got to accept it without saying anything. And I'm like, uh, I don't like where this is going. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds I, weird. I don't like the, what's, what's going to happen. Are you going to give me a kidney? I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> and he ended up cheering the equivalency it, it was about four hundred dollars in bits from a single cheer that is not um and he was saying like oh i won the lottery recently so i'm just taking care of my friends and i'm like dude wow. i just i'm some guy that you watch me play games sometimes like this this i'm like dude this is not I, I, I was so taken aback. I was like speechless by that. Like I just, it like took me it, to that, like the verge That's the day of I raided you, wasn't it? Yeah, I raided yeah. you shortly after. Because I remember thinking, are you all right? And I was, <laughs> and I was, was telling people now. that. I was, I, yeah, I was like, I was like, it, it, I, I didn't know how to be in my yeah. own body. And I kept telling people when they came in, like, he, he just cheered this much and I don't know what to do with my life anymore. Like, what's, <laughs> um, I just, I couldn't, I can't even wrap my head around the generosity yeah. you know like it's, it's just incredible thank you like, all i could do is just keep saying thank you i'm yeah. like that's insane dude like this is not why i do this and it is never expected but oh my god does it mean a lot like that's yeah. that's incredible wow well that's an amazing way to kind of wrap this up i guess or maybe i could wrap this up by saying have you got one tip that you wish you would have went back to see and told yourself when you first started Streaming. I've did literally just come up with this now, so I've got to think about this while oh, you're. I was going to say you should have told <laughs> me this ten days ago, so I could have thought about it. Um, this is where the editing will kick in, and I'll be like, <laughs> "No, sure, no, Steve. editing. I'm going to no, I'm not going to edit this in at all. So it's just going to be all of our mistakes." Oh, no, okay. Um, Yours is going to be like go into streams, post your link everywhere, <laughs> join discords. <laughs> Just immediately put <laughs> yeah. yourself promo everywhere. Before you even uh, say hello, be like, here's the link to my Twitch. And um... <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. I mean, I, it's, I it's not, it's not even like, I, oh, man. It's, it's all about you, for me anyway, it's all about my mindset mm -hmm. and the way I'm, I'm thinking of things and like, just, just have fun with it. Like that's yes. that'd be the number one tip I could give to anybody. Um, have fun with what you're doing. If you're having fun, people watching will have fun too. Like, yeah. it, like it, laughter is contagious. Yes, that's true. Yeah, very true. Um, I that's you know, like as much as like is it, it is something that you and I both take seriously. Um, because well, it's not working in a work. bank. Something well, that's like, it. It's, it's, not that's really exactly it. it's entertainment. We're playing, we're playing video day. games. Yeah. <laughs> People are watching exactly. us. Like it's it's a strange concept. Yeah. Um, as much as we take it seriously, don't take it too seriously. Have yeah. fun with it. Go in with the intent of having a good time, and all the rest will fall into place. Mate, yep. thank you so much for doing this. Um, Absolute pleasure, gonna, mate. Absolute I'm gonna, pleasure. Thank you so much for I'm honored to to have been invited. We're going to do this again, definitely soon. We'll do this again Hell this yeah. time next year. We'll probably learn a lot more. 
you know. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll do a reaction video of us watching <laughs> our previous video going like, look at these idiots. Yes. They knew nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's warranted with that laugh. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to watch more videos like this, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Let's do a free frame. Smash that like button. Uh, <coughs> he, deserve, he deserves it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said smash that like button. But do it. Bye.